Whether you're brand new or deep in the game, we're breaking disc golf down one term at a time. This is Defining Disc Golf. There's a saying in disc golf, drive for show, putt for dough. While throwing full power drives is fun to do and fun to watch, making putts is the difference between a great round and a not so great round. Before you decide how to putt, you need to choose your putter. When choosing a putter, ask yourself several questions. Firstly, bead or no bead. Putters come in all shapes and sizes, but one of the most noticeable characteristics is the bead, or lack thereof. A bead is essentially a small rounded edge on the rim and not only changes the feel of the putter, but also how it releases from your hand and of course, how it flies. Beads come in different sizes, like this Clash Discs Fudge, which has a big bead, this AGL Madrone that has a micro bead, or this Discraft Roach, which is beadless. How you grip your putter will likely determine whether you like a bead or not. And how should you grip your putter? Well, once again, there isn't really a wrong way to do it. Whatever feels comfortable in your hand and lets you get a clean release. This is how I choose to grip a putter, but there are many other variations on that. Next question, hard or soft, or something in between. Putting plastics range from soft and rubbery to stiff and slick, and anything in between. You'll need to select a plastic that feels good in your hand, and that may depend a lot on the conditions you typically play in. Plastics will get softer in warm temperatures and harder in the cold, while firm putters might be too slippery in wet conditions. Next question, shallow or deep? All discs, but especially putters, have wildly different dimensions, and the dimension that's most noticeable on a putter is rim depth. Deeper putters tend to be popular for players with bigger hands, while shallow putters appeal to players with smaller hands, though this isn't universally applied. There are hundreds of options to choose from, but by far the most important factor for you choosing a putter is to choose one that feels good in your hand. There's no wrong choice if the putter feels good to you. Once you have your putter, you need to choose how to putt. There are two primary ways to putt, spin putting and push putting. The primary difference between spin putts and push putts is how much spin is imparted on the disc and how much arm movement is used. Spin putting is a technique that relies more on the snap of the wrist to generate a higher rate of spin and puts the disc on a straighter path to the basket. Spin putting is considered more reliable in windy conditions. A push putt is a technique that utilizes a rocking arm movement combined with a subtle hand and wrist movement to propel a disc toward the basket. Push putts have less spin, but tend to travel higher before falling into the basket. While these are the two primary methods of putting, there are of course tons of other variations or combinations. It's important to practice any type of putt so that you're prepared for whatever conditions you find on the course. After you choose your preferred putting style, it's time to choose your preferred putting stance. The staggered stance is the most popular for putting. Place one foot behind your lie, staggered in front of the other. You generate power by pushing off with your back foot as you putt. Alternatively, some people prefer a straddle stance. Place one foot behind your lie and the other perpendicular to your target. Power is generated by bending the knees and straightening your legs as you putt. Sometimes you may find that your disc landed in a position that doesn't allow for one putting stance or the other, so it's very important to practice both. There are as many different ways to putt as there are people who play disc golf, and it's recommended that players experiment with different techniques until you find one that makes you feel confident. Disc golf, and especially putting, is a mental game. Just play catch with the basket. Imagine you're throwing a frisbee to a friend, but this time, the friend is the basket. And that is how to putt in disc golf. Subscribe to our channel for in-depth disc comparisons, plastic and disc analysis, as well as interviews with influential people from the world of disc golf. Or click the link in the description to see our full defining disc golf playlist. For Six-Sided Discs, I'm Greg. We'll see you in the next one.
If you like this content and want to see more, please consider liking the video, subscribing to our channel, or supporting us on Patreon. Your support makes this content possible.